So I think there's somebody living in my vents or something living in my vents. So um, practically last night I was up really late because I'm trying to bleach my hair. It obviously isn't working. So I was up to like 4 a.m. I was up so late, y'all. Anyways, so I eventually get done with bleaching my hair and I'm laying in my bed just like crying because I can't get my hair fucking blonde. And my dog's laying in my bed with me. So I'm on TikTok and I start hearing like things in my vent. And it wasn't like the AC or whatever starting up. Like it was literally like tapping in my vent. So I like pause the video I'm watching and I'm like, and it doesn't stop. Like it's like little tapping and it keeps coming closer like to the top of my vents. So then all of a sudden it immediately stops and a huge bang comes from my fucking kitchen. Like I'm talking loud. So I go out there and I see water on my counter and I'm looking around like what could that water be from? And I see a cup sitting on the counter like right by the water, but it wasn't spilled over. It was still filled with water and like sitting up. So I pulled an old nighter because I was scared. So usually shit that happens in my house that's like paranormal doesn't really like freak me out a lot. You know, it'll scare me a little bit. It'll startle me a little bit, but never like crazy. Well, last night that changed. So I was in the bathroom when I was brushing my teeth and I have one of those like electric toothbrushes. So they're like really loud. So I'm sitting in my bathroom brushing my teeth and I hear like somebody banging on my back door. Not loud, just very like subtle. So I turn off my toothbrush and I'm like, oh, what the fuck? So I slowly start walking up to it and like the banging is becoming like more noticeable. So I finally get to the back door and I like move the curtain because we have curtains like covering the back door. We don't want anybody watching us. And there's nobody there. Nothing. It wasn't raining either. Like, I don't know what the fuck that could have been. And that's all that happened, but it only gets worse. So earlier this year, I got my first job at Mickey D's McDonald's. And I was excited because, like, it seemed fun, right? So at the time, I was 15. So I legally was not allowed to work by the grill, make food. I was not allowed to do any of that shit. I was only allowed to do drive through take the money, work, like, you know, all that stuff up front that isn't the grill, right? So I walk in. And my manager comes up to me and she's like, she goes up to me and she's like, how old are you? And I was like 15. So they looked at each other and they go, okay, you're going to be working the grill. So I'm over here like, homegirl, I didn't learn how to pre-eat a motherfucking oven until this year. You think I could go make in some burgers and fries? So I go in the back, right? And I, they have me doing eggs. I don't know how the fuck to do this shit because the eggs came out of a fucking can i'm gonna make a part two so it is my first day at work and my manager had me working at the grill when i legally was not the age to do so so they're like yeah we're gonna have you make eggs and i'm like home girl first off i learned how to preheat an oven this year you think i can make some goddamn eggs so i go back there and like the people are teaching me how to do it and it's so weird because the eggs come out of a fucking carton like i'm so sorry so anyways i'm making the eggs and I don't know how to make shit, so I'm just pouring the eggs in the container thing, like, letting it cook for maybe, like, two seconds, and then, like, putting it out for the people to use the eggs to make the sandwiches. So I probably made around 40 eggs, or, like, 20 sandwiches. And while I was making the eggs, nobody was watching over me, like, telling me if they're, like, cooked or not. So I'm in the middle of one of my batches of eggs, and one of the other cooks comes up to me, and they're like, you're not making the eggs right, they're all raw. So I served about 20 people raw eggs. So, yeah. So something a little freaky happened the other day. So we're redoing our basement, right? And in the basement, we have like tons of books that we need to throw out or whatever. And they're really old books. Well, the other day, my dad was upstairs and he calls me into the kitchen. And he's like, how did this book get up here? This is the book. It's called Survivors. It's about the Holocaust. It's sad. But the title's called Survivors. And this book just magically appeared in our fucking kitchen. Nobody took any books up here. Nobody accidentally grabbed a book. Nobody reads in this family. <laughs> so it was just weird how a book called Survivors ends up on our kitchen floor mysteriously. Majadically? Magically? I, I, it freaked me out, and I was scared to sleep that night because I thought somebody was going to kill me. But yeah. And that's all that happened, but it only gets worse. This is really short, but it's a creepy fucking scenario that happened last night. So last night I was in the shower. It was maybe like 8 o'clock at night, maybe, if that. And I'm in the shower and I'm not playing music, nothing. I'm just taking a quiet little peaceful shower. And I start hearing crying coming from the inside of the wall. 
And at first, I didn't know where it was coming from. So I, like, looked around the house. I stepped in the living room. Didn't hear anything. Like, when I got in the living room, I heard nothing. It was quiet. And I went into my sister's room, quiet. In my room, quiet. And I go back into the shower, and I hear the crying in the wall. So... Can somebody explain? Somebody got some explaining to do. So I got out of the shower and I, I literally just went to bed because I didn't think much of it until I woke up this morning and I was like, that is not normal. But it only gets worse. But it only gets worse. But it no 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 no. So once again, something scary happened last night. So here we go. So last night I could not fall asleep for the literal life of me. I was exhausted, but I wasn't tired, if you know what I mean. So I was up till fucking 4.30 in the morning, and I have school at 7. So I'm laying in bed, and I'm just closing my eyes trying to go to fucking bed. And in my basement, which is where my room is, in the living room, like right next to my room, there's like a door that leads up to like these doors that come out of the- I'll show you. Like this thing, and it leads out of the ground. And I've never opened that door. As far as I know, I'm pretty sure that door is like sealed shut. Well, last night, I hear the door open. Like, I literally heard it, like, it crack and just, like, whoosh. So I, like, shoot out of bed, and I'm like, what the fuck? Because that door leads to the outside, so I'm like, did somebody break in? So I go over to the door, and it's closed. But I did ask her to open. So I went to bed. It only gets worse. <laughs> I think there's, like, a really weird ghost living in my house. I, uh, so we all been know that my house is haunted as shit. But um, I had an experience last night that I haven't ever experienced before. It's kind of short, but it's weird. So last night I was laying in bed and the whole night I kept hearing like tapping. I'm going to try to like recreate it. Like that. And I didn't know what it was because it sounded like really sharp nails just tapping at something. And it was going on for hours. So I'm laying in bed and I literally can't sleep because I don't know what the hell this is. So I'm listening to it and then all of a sudden my lights start flickering. And my dog literally looks at the lights and starts fucking barking at them. So I'm like, okay, great. This is really good for me. So I unplug my lights so they just stop scaring the shit out of me. And the tapping doesn't fucking stop. So I throw my pillow at the wall and it just stops. So is there somebody leaving my wall? Am I then? I don't, I don't know. But yeah, um, I eventually fell asleep at like 3 a.m. after all of that. So yeah, but it only gets worse. So we just set up security cameras in my house, which is like really good because I'm a paranoid person and I always feel like somebody's gonna come in my house and like slit my throat. <laughs> but like, also my house is haunted, so like it's good for that too. And the other day I caught something on the camera that it looks like an orb. And you could say, oh, it's a fly. Oh, it's a bug. I promise you there's no fucking flying bugs in this house. I could cross my heart, hope to die, like there's no flying bugs in this household. So I'm about to show you, okay? Now, the weird thing is, is my camera activates and it starts recording when there's motion. That thing popped out of clear air and went down. If it was a bug, it would have flew from the side and it would have started recording when it came from the side. I'll play it again. So, I mean, that shit looks like an orb. But, it, you know, it could be a fly, but let's just believe. <sighs> so we just got a camera in our house, right? And so I logged on to, like, the app where you could, like, look through the camera and stuff. And I'm going through, like, the hours. And here's something very disturbing that I caught. This clip was taken at 4 a.m., Everybody in my house is asleep at 4 a.m., so. If you didn't see it, I'll play it again, but there is somebody that walked past my door at 4 in the morning. So yeah, that was very unsettling. And now here's another video of a shadow walking across, like, my hallway while nobody's home. Now, the creepy thing about that is, is if there was somebody walking across in that direction, you would have been able to see them in the camera, but there's nobody in the camera and nobody was home.